everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's take a look through the cosmonoculars, joining our thumbs and fingers together to have a look through. Oh, look at those colours. Yes, they're so beautiful and bright and colourful. Oh, can you see it? Can you see the picture? Yes, it's a seahorse. It's a baby seahorse. It's Norris, the baby seahorse. Oh, what's Norris doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing fish pose. This is very exciting. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get right to it and go and find Norris. Come to your knees, everybody. Take your arms out wide and give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye. Oh, hello. Who's this that's just landed on the windowsill? It's a rather magical looking bird. Standing up, folding forward, take your wings down. Now this magical looking bird has rather big blue webbed feet. It's a blue footed booby and he does a funny dance. Hello, hello, I'm Bez the booby bird. Yes, I am. I love to do me dancing. Oh, this is great. We get on the back of Bez, taking our wings down low, and he swoops them up. Ooh. Off we go, everyone. We're flying out over the trees and the hills. We wave down to our friends. Hi, friends. And down we come, down towards the beach, where we're going to hopefully meet Norris, the baby seahorse. We land in a little landing ball. We sit up tall and we say namaste to Bez, the blue-footed booby bird. Namaste. Now, to continue our journey, we pick up a lift with Popcorn the Dolphin, who's riding the waves, coming up onto your knees, crisscross your fingers, drop down onto your elbows. Now dive forward and backwards, making your dolphin clicky noises. <laughs> She drops us off in the kelp garden. Turning over, lying on your back. The kelp garden is long, long strands and fronds of seaweed that stretch right from the bottom of the ocean right to the top. Now we need to swim. So we come over onto our tummies and we swim using big strokes with our arms and our legs. We part the seaweed and we come to Norris, the baby seahorse's house. Standing all the way up, take your feet wide, take your arms wide and lift them up above your head, coming into house pose. And here's Norris, the baby seahorse. Coming down onto one knee, he does a little knee. Now lift up that back knee, turn yourself around and drop down onto the other knee. Standing all the way up, arms wide. Because we're such good friends with Norris, we do a twirl up in a flurry of bubbles. <gasps> Norris is so excited because today he got invited to join the best fish in the sea club. He's never heard of it before, but it's called best fish in the sea club. So it must be the best, right? He's got his first meet up today at the Coral Reef Cafe. He's so excited, he sings a little song. We join in with the actions. Ready? Come down to one knee. My name is Norris, I'm a tiny little fella, but my nose is long and my body is so yellow. I rock like a rocking horse gliding through the sea, and I tell you now that I love being me. Standing up. I swim standing up and I may be slow But that never stops me having a go I'm the best baby seahorse you ever did see Like I said before, I love being me 
My tummy's round and I bob up and down and I'm made out of bony rings. I like to hold on to a seaweed frond and take a rest frequently. Oh. I can wiggle my nose around and around. I look with my eyes both up and down. I'm a bright spark, clever lad, diddly dee. I'll tell you again, I love being me. I love being me. I love being me. That's right. Wow, what a great song, Norris. But Norris, we'd better go because time's running out and we know you're a little bit of a slow swimmer. So come down to your knees. Let's go. Come down to your knees, everyone. Hands down, swimming up slowly, breathing in. On our way to the Coral Reef Cafe, we pass Mimi the mermaid. Sitting with your legs out long, swish your tail around to one side. Put one hand on your fishy knee, your other hand behind you, look behind you and look forward. She says to Norris, Bonne chance, petit Norris, which means good luck, little Norris, in French. Swish your tail around to the other side. Take your other hand onto your swishy knee now and your other hand behind you, looking back behind. Looking forward, she blows him a special little good luck mermaid kiss. When Norris gets there, it looks like some of the other members of the club aren't very happy about Norris joining. A rather tough looking little crab, digger diggers over. Coming up, bent knees, hands behind you, lift up your bottom. Now digger digger, ready? Digger 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 digger. Oi you, big nose. You can't join the best fish in the sea club because your nose is too big. Then he digger diggers the other way. Digger 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 digger. And if you join, I'm going to pinch you on the nose with my crab claws. Yeah. <gasps> oh, poor Norris. Oh, he's feeling a bit upset by that, but he doesn't want to say anything. He doesn't want to upset anyone, so he carries on. Then overcome a pair of wolf fish. Coming into your dog pose, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottoms to the sky. Come all the way down to your knees, untuck your toes, lift up your chest. All right, Boney, you want to join the best fish in the sea club, do you? Well, uh, you can if you can show us a tree pose. <laughs> oh, Norris is quite pleased that they've asked him to show a tree pose. He's rather good at tree pose. He stands up and shows them. I put my foot on there, I put my fins here, I grow my tree. There, there's my tree pose. Norris is great at tree pose. He even shows them on the other side just to show he can do it on that side as well. Swapping our legs over now, put your other foot on top, hands together, grow up tall. Yep, yeah, you see, I can do the tree pose, doing it, yep. Yeah. The wolf fish seem to make a fool out of Norris, coming back into your dog pose, lifting your bottom to the sky, dropping down to your knees, untucking your toes all the way to your belly and press up. <laughs> Only joking, Boney. You can't join the best fish in the sea club because you've got a big silly round tummy. <laughs> oh, poor Norris. This is not very nice at all. And over now is swimming a shark. Crisscross your fingers behind your back. Lift up your shark fin. She's swimming right towards Norris. Do 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 do. Uh, excuse me, um, my name's Shona, I'm a shark. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that apparently you can't join the Best Fish in the Sea Club because apparently you're a really slow swimmer. That's what the crab and wolfish said, so sorry, I'm just telling you. See ya. Oh, this is awful. We take Norris for a little bit of a rest in an oyster shell. Sitting on your bottoms, join the soles of your feet together, holding onto your toes, folding down. This isn't the best fish in the sea club. This is the worst fish in the sea club. All of these horrible creatures are bullying Norris. That's not right. Hmm. When this happens, we need to speak to a wise grown-up friend. 
And here come just the people we need. It's Tommy, the bedtime turtle. Take your legs out wide, bent knees, hands down underneath, making your flippers like a turtle. And with him is our very good friend, Squish the fish. Pointing your toes long, come down onto your elbows. Now pop, 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 pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the ceiling and all the way back behind you. But Squish, as usual, is using his tail as a surfboard, standing up. So, he looks a bit like a penguin. Hey, dude, Norris, why the long face? What's going on? Norris is all huddled up. Well, I wanted to join the best fish in the sea club, but they said I can't because my nose is too long and my tummy's round and... And I'm not very strong at my swimming. Tommy, the bedtime turtle, thinks this is awful. Taking your legs out, bend your knees, hands down, making your flippers. Oh, Norris, you're a wonderful seahorse. What do you think about this? Norris sits up. He unravels his tail, sitting up tall. Well, I quite like my nose and my tummy. I don't like swimming fast because if I swim fast, I get all tired and stressed out. Squish reclines in his fish pose, coming back down to your elbows, point those toes, pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky. Dude, you know it. You don't need to be in this club. Best fish in the sea club? It's not at all. Why don't you start your own club? At this, Norris gets excited. Yeah. I'm gonna start my own club. Coming back onto one knee, into your horse pose, lifting your hands above your head. Yes, I'm going to start it, and I'm going to call it the I Love Being Me Club. And anyone can join, whether they've got a long nose or a short nose, or a little tummy or a big tummy, or whether they're a fast or a slow swimmer. You've just got to be nice in the I Love Being Me Club. <gasps> Norris was over the moon, but coming over, was Shona the shark. Coming back onto your belly, crisscross your fingers, making your shark fin lift it up. Do, 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 do. Uh, excuse me, uh, it's Shona again. Yeah, I'm a shark. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, could I join the I Love Being Me Club? Because I'm just really fed up of being in that other club. They kept telling me what to do and what to say, and I didn't like it at all. Norris is delighted. Coming onto the other knee now, lifting yourself up, arms up above your head. Yes, Shona, you can join. You're very welcome. Soon, all of the animals and creatures from the Best Fish in the Sea Club started to join Norris's I Love Being Me Club. He'd done it. He'd started his own club and he was delighted. It was time for us to go, so we blow our bubbly kisses. <laughs> to all of our friends and we swim up back to the surface of the sea. When we get there, we find our friend, Bez, the blue-footed booby, standing up. We bow all the way forward, taking our wings down and then we swoop them up and high. We're off being transported back to our house, back to the warmth. We lie down on Bez's back in all of his feathers and let our bodies rest and relax for a moment as we think about the story we've just done with Norris. How he went through some really awful things. Bullying. Saying those things is never okay or getting someone else to say nasty things about you is never okay. And if it happens, and it might happen to a friend, you might see it happening, you must always go and tell a grown-up. And you don't need to worry about being a telltale at all, you're not. You're helping, because that bully probably needs some help too. They sometimes do these things because they feel weak inside. So they need to feel more powerful by saying these things about others to make them look weak. But it's not okay. And we must always go and tell a grown up when it happens.
we rest back in this peaceful time. So pleased for Norris. We love the I Love Being Me Club. What a fun thing. But now we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees up to our chest and we roll over onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Norris the Baby Seahorse adventure with me. You were great. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye.